Yo, 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 what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D, here to give you the live news, man. And we got Kyrie Irving doing a press conference after his first game in Dallas Mavericks uniform. And he had an amazing debut game. Uh, I think he scored, what, 24 points or something like that? Five rebounds, five assists. Hey, man. Dallas is going to be looking good this year, man. And the Western Conference is crazy right now. Kevin Durant just got traded to the Phoenix Suns. Devin Booker. CP3. Goodness. Ooh, man. The West is stacked. Speaking of the West, speaking of the trade, Kyrie Irving is about to talk about... Um, Kyrie... Oh, hold on. Yeah, Kyrie Irving is about to talk about the Nets organization and what, you know, and what happened. Uh, why he left and, you know, what he thinks about everything that has happened so far. Nah, I think it, this was in the works like after year one. I was unsure about whether or not I wanted to be in Brooklyn long term again because of things that was happening behind the scenes. I, I just um, did my best to put my head down and uh, work as hard as I could. There were some unfortunate circumstances that came up there that were out of my control, um, whether it be the mandate with the vaccine or um, missing games being suspended or, you know, just little things that See? I think, uh, you know, just put just wrenches in our in our journey you know and then we had james and we were supposed to be the super team like i think uh, i would like to say something too about the super team of me james and kd that everyone thinks should have worked uh, mm. we played very limited time together you know, there were a lot of injuries and things that took place and i would have liked to see that work for the long term but um there are no mistakes no coincidences and gotta move forward but um i'm happy that i could look back on that journey and reflect and say i learned a lot of things from those guys and my teammates in brooklyn um and just my journey throughout this what actions do you think work best So, yeah, so I told y'all, man, I told y'all that, um, you know, Kyrie Irving did not feel respected over there. And he said that he didn't feel respected in his last interview. Well, his first interview that he did coming to the Phoenix, um, I mean, coming to the Dallas Mavericks. Um, and I told y'all, in, in, in my opinion, right, in my opinion, I think the media is coming down on Kyrie Irving. Because he was one of the, well, yeah, he was one of the, especially his stature uh, was one of the first people that said, no, I'm not going to take the vaccine. You know what I mean? I'm not going to take this shot, right? And that was a big deal. You know what I mean? And that, uh, and I truly think that's the reason why the media is giving Kyrie such a bad name and trying to just disparage this man and trying to throw dirt on this man's name and in any possible way that they can um and he talked about that right him not playing because of the he didn't want to take the shot him not playing because of the anti you know anti-semitic the quote unquote anti-semitic post and injuries and things that happened behind the scene He's in a happy place right now, man. And you can tell he is happy. He is out of the Nets organization. I'm sure Kevin Durant is happy. He's out of the Nets organization. And basically, you know what I mean? Kyrie Irving just, just exposed everything about the Nets organization in a very nice, calm, cool, collective way, man. So once again, I'm definitely happy for Kyrie and Durant, man. This is going to be a crazy year. Let's just go back and listen to this one more time, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get up out of here. Teams in KD that everyone thinks should have worked. And then we had James and, um, you know, just put my control, uh, work as hard as I could. There was meant to be in Brooklyn long term again because, nah, I think it, this was in the works. Like, after year one, I was unsure about whether or not I wanted to. He said after year one. After year one, he wasn't sure. The first year he was there in Brooklyn, he was like, this ain't what I thought it was going to be. Dang. That says a lot about the Nets organization. Be in Brooklyn long term again because of things that was happening behind the scenes. I, I just mm. um, did my best to put my head down and uh, work as hard as I could. There were some unfortunate circumstances that came up there that were out of my control, um, whether it be the mandate with the vaccine or um, missing games being suspended or, you know, just little things that I think, um, you know, just put just wrenches in our, in our journey. 
Dang. And we had James, and we were supposed to be the super team. Like super I, I think team. Uh, I would like to say something too about the super team of me, James, and KD that everyone thinks should have worked. Uh, we played very limited time together. Uh -huh. A lot of injuries and things that took place, and I would have liked to see that work for the long term. But um, there are no mistakes, no coincidences, and we got to move forward. But um, I'm happy that I could look back on that journey and reflect and say I learned a lot of things from those guys and my teammates in Brooklyn um, and just my journey throughout this. <laughs> So there we go, man. He said he wasn't sure that he was going to sign long term the first year because everything that was happening behind the scenes. Boy, the Nets, y'all look real bad right now. Y'all look real bad. Y'all couldn't. Y'all brought in James Harden. He left. Kyrie Irving. He left. Kevin Durant. He left. Sheesh. Y'all leave a comment down below, man. Kyrie Irving. Ir Kyrie Irving exposing the Nets organization and told us how he really felt. He didn't know that he was going to, he knew that he wasn't going to sign long term the first year. That says a lot. It's your boy Dan D. I'm signing out, man. Peace.